Hello and welcome to Pelicar. This is Nuts and Bolts, episode six. I'm your host, Lewis Nichols. Nuts and Bolts is the show where we talk about world building, the world building of Dresden's Tale. We're gonna, we talk about the, the history, the, the economy, uh, all the interesting things in the background that we don't want to spend too much time in story getting into. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how they fight. When I say how they fight, I mean specifically we're going to start with uh, the rules. Uh, it is a story based on a role-playing game, so there are some core physics to how people learn and develop skills. Uh, we are also going to learn about the weapons uh, that are used in the clans and in the culture. Uh, obviously, every uh, story has their own uh, repertoire of, of, of equipment, their own signatures, whether it be elven archers or Jedi lightsabers. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, how magic plays a part. Uh, we're not going to get too deep into strategy, uh, but we're going to try to stay on the tactical level. We're going to talk about armor a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, how warriors strive to, on the one hand, make themselves unique, but also keeps them within the bounds of cultural norms. It's one thing to have a super crazy fighting style, but if you can't get any training and nobody makes weapons for you, it pretty much is just a pipe dream. Before we get right into it, I want to remind everybody that Dresden's Tale, as well as some of my other uh, short stories, uh, novelettes, are available for download by Kindle readers uh, on uh, Amazon. Um, you can also come visit me, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Lewis Nichols. Uh, that's going to be exclusively for this project. Uh, I do accept friend requests on Facebook, but you know, you're getting into a lot of, uh, a lot of extra stuff there that you might not be interested in. Uh, or if you just want to hit that subscribe button, you only have to go as far as YouTube and, uh, they'll do the job of updating you whenever new videos come out. So let's get into it. We're going to talk about weapons. All right. So straightforward nuts and bolts. Uh, as I've mentioned a few times, uh, people get uh, eight skill points every level. Uh, the main weapon skills cost five. Those five weapon skills are general fighting, classified fighting, and specific fighting. Uh, very, very technical terms there. Uh, let me translate. Generalized is going to give you bonuses with absolutely any attack. Uh, it's going to give you plus five on your percentage dice uh, to hit, to do damage, to score, uh, and plus half a point to damage. Classified is a classification of weapons. Slashing, bashing, launching, uh, hurling, uh Sure, I missed something there, but it's okay. It's going to give you a plus 10 on your attack roll and plus half a point on the damage. Specified. That's a specific weapon. A spear, a mace, a hammer, a crossbow. Those are all things you can specify in. Uh, plus 15 on your attack roll, plus half a point of damage. Now you can take these multiple times as long as you have points available. Uh, obviously, most characters do, even non-fighter characters. Uh, you have to have at least one generalized before you can take a classified, and you have to have at least one classified before you take a specified. And it has to be uh, suitable. So, for instance, if you're uh, with a uh, dagger, you have to have slashing or a spear uh, if you're going to specify there, your classified has to be uh, jabbing. Now you can split this all up, stack them up, pile them however you want to. But of course, uh, the more you stick to one thing, the better off you are. 
So let's use uh, Donnie Saris again as a, a case study. He's going to stick to a pretty typical build, not get too crazy, especially since he's going to be a warden. He's not going to have uh, enough points to pick up more weapon skills every level. Uh, he would initially, probably before he ever got to uh, to Usland and part of the Black Flags, would already have a first level and a, a generalized fighting skill that's going to help him with any weapon at all. Uh, it's going to help him with his physical attacks. Uh, this is why you'll sometimes hear it mentioned in the story that it really doesn't matter what weapon you use at uh, extremely low levels. Uh, he would next pick up a bashing, because that's what he wants to do. He wants to bash some stuff. Uh, that bashing skill is use with, useful for pretty much any blunt force weapon. Uh, that you hold in your hands. So a, uh, a flail, a hammer, uh, both like a single one-handed hammer or a big old maul or a battle axe or a hatchet. Some weapons can be used in multiples. Uh, for instance, uh, a broadsword can be a bashing attack or a slashing attack. Uh, and then finally, uh, when he uh, probably third, fourth level, he would have picked up uh, a classified in uh, in his uh, maul, I believe, is what we decided he was going to use, or a great big hammer. Um, now, of course, you have the trade-off. You're picking up points in uh, for him in uh, uh, priestly skills. You're also picking up his weapon skills, so it's a constant trade back and forth. If a uh, Good uh, dungeon master is keeping at you. He's going to have to pick up a few survival skills too, right? Uh, you know, running, uh, which sometimes those skills are free if you're a priest. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, you might want to ride a horse. You might want to be able to swim. You might want to be able to build a fire, or make a map. Uh, all the multitude of things that helps an adventurer. As far as skills go, you also have... A parry skill uh, that lets you uh, use a shield. Uh, virtually every warrior is going to learn to parry. Although they might not use a full shield, they might use a, an alternate weapon or uh, just a small buckler and bracers. So what does this all look like for the Kelds? Uh, there are a number of common uh, uh, arrangements uh, generally, the farther south you go uh, with the uh, Eastern Alliance clans, the, uh, the River Dogs, the, the Doomed, the Stone Clan, you tend to be using uh, maces and hammers. Uh, to the north, uh, you're more likely to see uh, broadswords, uh, although there's certainly plenty of overlap on, uh, on that account. Uh, spears are somewhat ubiquitous. Uh, it's a simple weapon to produce. It's a simple weapon to use. It's useful from uh, horseback. It's useful in formation. And it's useful underwater, which uh, frankly does make a difference because there's a fair number of Ronnie in around uh, that if they want to take full advantage of their uh, ability to breathe underwater, they're going to have to use a spear or some other jabbing weapon. Uh, if you don't believe me, jump into a swimming pool and try to slash with a broadsword. See what happens. Surprise, I'm back. Uh, I want to just mention how important it is that you uh, hit that like button, um, that you make an occasional comment. Uh, the reason is, the more you hit likes, the more you hit subscribes, and if you occasionally share the video, uh, YouTube notices. It makes it more likely that other people will notice this video. Uh, most of you I'm talking to now know me in real life. I haven't really uh, spread to, uh, to the general populace yet. Now, if you are somebody that's watching this that doesn't know me, that just happened to see it on your feed, oh, leave a comment. I really want to know. Uh, I won't stalk you. I won't uh, bug you. I'm just so curious to find out. 
even if you think it's crap. If you've listened to this much of it, just leave me a comment and say, hey, I don't know you. Uh, now, the reason for this, the reason for this intrusion into our story is not to listen to me chatter. It's for a like bomb. All right, you get ready. Get your finger near the like button. Just near it. Don't hit it yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Like button. Another one you will see a lot of in the story uh, is uh, made common by the fact there's so many Minotaur around. Uh, I generally refer to it as pugilism, but it's not just fists. It's uh, the Minotaur headbutt. It's the, the tail swipe from the Ronian or the Saurian. Uh, there's a lot of creatures, um, a lot of uh, Valito that, that have good physical attacks. Uh, even a few Tigara will go with physical attacks from their, their ability to claw an opponent as effectively as somebody else could use a dagger. There's a few different strategies here. Uh, let's just look at Minotaur for a second. Uh, a lot of them will go to a straight fist build uh, where they're uh, specifying in fist as much as possible and pushing that, that envelope up. Uh, you also will have some, though, that uh, kind of alternate between uh, brawling, uh, and which is the official classified term, uh, between brawling and uh, uh, fist. Uh, and the reason is that they want to stay on the top end with their fists in case they're fighting things that are particularly hard to hit. Uh, but uh, that headbutt is a lot of, a lot of damage for them, so they want to remain... Uh, in a position they can use it effectively. Uh, somebody like uh, uh, Donnie Saurus uh, might uh, take an extra generalized from time to time so that his uh, tail might remain uh, relevant, but mostly he's going to be taking that uh, specified maul. Uh, you have non-combat builds uh, that will often, uh, when they do take a uh, a weapon skill it'll be generalized uh perhaps a mage uh that uh takes a you know a weapon skill every third level or so uh or a priest um but they're taking generalized or brawling uh cuz it helps with their ability to use touch based spells another common build you do have a lot of cavalry in the empire uh, pretty much every clan has it to some degree, uh, especially among the doomed, um, as they're down in Aristo with so many, so much open plains uh, at their disposal. Uh, you don't see much heavy cavalry among the Kelds. It's almost all uh, light cavalry. They ride on smaller horses, faster horses, uh, lighter armor, uh, swordsmen. Uh, horsemen's uh, bashing weapons, you know, smaller maces and such, and uh, and spears, of course. So what about bows? Uh, bows are not generally considered a uh, heroic weapon among the Kelds. There are a few uh, individuals, some of them are heroes, um, that uh, have used bows, but uh, generally they are not something that's uh, promoted as a weapon to get uh, very well skilled in. Uh, one of the exceptions um, are the Jinn of uh, Jingendale, which we're going to have to have a show on those guys one of these days. But uh, suffice, it to, suffice it to say that they are a... Uh, uh, somewhat uh, unusual species that binds themselves to uh, humanity and uh, they're, they're a big part of the world just something that I have not dove into yet as they have not been particularly relevant to the story uh, the reason I mention them now is that uh, you do have uh, a lot of crossbows around because uh, some of the gen quite a few of the gen use crossbows and uh, they've uh, made their way into more common usage uh, um, throughout the empire, uh, not just as handheld weapons, but also heavier crossbows.
crossbows that might be mounted on a wall or or on a on a well built uh, wagon as kind of a, a mobile artillery. Now you certainly do have more unusual builds. Uh, there's a uh, an odd build that you'll occasionally see where uh, uh, a highly mobile warrior uh, will accentuate himself with uh, movement skills and hover around the fringes of combat with hurling weapons, uh, nets, daggers, uh, throwing uh, throwing war stars, that sort of thing. Um, it is definitely an oddity, but it is an oddity that's around. Uh, the uh, the well-polished uh, bowman is also an oddity, but uh, they do exist in small numbers. So that is a quick overview of uh, weapon and armor use in uh, the Empire. Uh, well, mostly weapons, I suppose, and how they work. I haven't really talked that much about, uh, about uh, armor yet, but we'll get into that another day as we're already flying towards the 15-minute mark. Uh, I hope you all uh, enjoyed the show. Uh, if you did, leave a like. Uh, and if you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. Uh, leave comments. I would love to have a discussion about uh, how weapons are used in, in your games, what, what's common and what's not. Um, and until then, until next week, whenever we come up with a whole new show, uh, I hope you all the best, and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day.